Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round five, the final round of Swiss of the Las Vegas Open Swiss Part One of yeah. Two. Today, I'm joined by my good friend. Hey, guys. James Ritter here. Happy to be here and happy it's round five because... I'm starting to lose a steam. <laughs> That's right. We're getting a little These sleepy, <laughs> and we're getting a little hungry, and we need to we need to get food. We need to play blackjack. Yeah, and uh, and, and just eat and in, be merry. Any, any of those orders. Any of those orders. Yeah, <laughs> blackjack first, so we can get the money to pay for dinner. Uh, That's the strategy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> we have Shane Frasato versus Andrew Pollard. This is the Separatist Alliance versus the Rebel Alliance. We've seen the Separatists today and Rebels. We were trying to get Republic, but none of them are within a bit, a, a within track. Not, not a great showing for Republic today, as far as um, uh, representation goes. They were tied for second, uh, but but none of the Republic players were able to make it up into uh, the uh, the bubble matches so uh they all had already two losses going into round five mm -hmm. so um very sad day for republic um and i don't think they're necessarily weak i think they're still in a, in a okay spot um but maybe just had a bad some, some factions have bad days that's right maybe this was just a bad batch stop it hey! <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, oh, you liked it. You liked it. You looks liked like we it. may. Okay, did not have a bump there or a uh, rock. Whew. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Shane Forsato and Andrew Pollard in the alliance off. Um, uh, you know what time it is, everybody? <laughs> it's time for you guys to choose your champion. Let's go ahead and break down these lists. Yeah, on your left, your bet one all champion. Uh, we have Shane Forsato with a separatist list. He has Darth Maul. In the scimitar, uh, has hate, General Grievous, electronic baffle, uh, scimitar title, and Kraken relay. What a throwback! Mm -hmm. What a throwback! Uh, that Kraken uh, relay able to save three calculate tokens uh, each round. Super excited to see uh, how those are affected across the droids in this list. We also have Dirge, uh, one of the new Rogue <laughs> Class Starship. I, it just doesn't it sound like rogue. it should. Rogue Class Starship. Uh, he guys, he's been on the struggle bus all, all day. day. It's, it's all these dirges <laughs> that just don't make sense. <laughs> uh, it has a marksmanship, proton cannon, Xanadu blood title, and the DRK-1 probe droids. Wow, what an interesting loadout for both Darth Maul and Dirge here. Uh, to finish off this list here, we have three Kelrodo AI holdouts. Uh, these are the, um, if I'm not mistaken, these are also out of the Hot Shots Nexus 2 pack. Uh, these are, I believe these are organic-ish uh, vultures. Uh, they're able to get a focus uh, I believe after doing a barrel roll, I think, or it's the other way around. They get the focus and mm -hmm. they can link it. If they link, they can get the That's right. Uh, but also have, uh, they have, one of them has treacherous energy shell charges, munitions fail safe, and the other two have elusive energy shells, uh, charges and munitions fail safe. And uh, that last ship there, the last vulture in green is DFS 081. Uh, with energy shell charges, and munition fell safe, and grappling struts. So uh, I'm sure they all have grappling struts. As mm -hmm. in, oh, you know what? They the Kelrodos may not uh, because of their. Oh no, they don't. That's right. That's just the 81 then. Just 81. Interesting. Oh man, this these Kelrodos. I'm super excited to see these uh, in action here, but. On the other side of the table, we have Andrew Pollard out of the Utah uh, gaming community um, with a four U-Wing list. Um, always interesting to see these four U-Wings. Um, and we have today, we have uh, Saw Gerrera, Magva Yaro, Cassian Andor, and Benthic to Tubes. Uh, on Benthic, we have Jin Urso, Percepto Copilot, and Contraband. 
On Cassian, we have Leia Organa and Tactical Scrambler. Magviara, we have Notorious Clan Rin Commandos. Hotshot Tail Blaster. And Saw Gerrera, we have Selfless K2SO, The Child. False Transponder Coats. And of course, they all four have the Pivot Wing, which really makes these ships stand out in their ability to stop or rotate 90 degrees or 180 degrees. I'm going to let you finish. But first, I want to let you know the arcade one droids are coming up. Continue. Ooh. Dark one probe droids pop out there. So, this is... <laughs> I need to remember how the the order goes. The for order the, of operations. Yeah. So, let's, let's pull up that card real quick. Go ahead and grab it. The order of operations for which pilot? For which no, card? For, for, the, for the dark one. Uh, I think they, they move. They, they, they launch. Move, they launch and they launch during the system phase. They can move during the system phase. They can target lock or so turn. during the in phase. Oh, in phase. You may spend phase. one to drop or launch using a speed three template. Then, in the system phase, they can move. So, uh, because he's waited this close to come up and launch him, mm -hmm. uh, and going into round two, it'll be mo be able to move in the system phase. Uh, it will for sure be able to uh, get those locks out there. They'll be able to get locks out there for uh, for his buddies. But the other thing I wanted to point out was in, in something something I find interesting. Let's see if this will cooperate with us today. Haven't pulled this out, James. <laughs> Last game of the night. Let's go ahead and do something different with the yeah, stream, right? Really make it crazy here. Have the Telestrator. Bust out the Telestrator. We're using the the, the touchscreen that we usually use for different purposes to make it easier to track stats. All right, I'm not going to mess with this too much. But um, that's not going to work. Did you see what I was about to do? Yeah. Mouse. <laughs> um, probably with this decloak token right here. What we're going to end up getting is that barrel roll out mm -hmm. and then a turn in this way. Just launch the probes and get out of town. Get out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, those Dark One probe droids able to uh, be able to be used as a point of reference for any friendly locks. So as long as um, in the system phase here, as long as one of these uh, enemy rebel ships don't go, run over it and land uh, and roll a focus result on a red die. They will, and they and they see it. That's right. What, that's how I think of it. They see it with their eyeballs. Yep. Uh, and they run over it. Uh, it'll be able to be out there for this round and be able to uh, use these uh, use these probe droids. What is going on here? Are we having uh, some clan Rin commandos? The commandos coming out early. It's like all the remotes. Let remotes, let them rain. <laughs> let the remotes rain indeed. Very excited to see some commandos. I don't think we've seen, have we seen commandos on stream? On Clan in Red, not in person, no. This yeah, is, uh, I super, think, the first, super excited the first some, coming. Some Clan Red commandos out there. Um, yeah, we also wanted to talk about these Kelrodo AI holdouts. Um, and they're... Uh, different uh, action bar. So they have the calculate lock and then barrel into focus mm -hmm. ca uh, actions. So uh, they were able to take those calculates coming into this round, and you can see that uh, it looks like Maul, Orange, and Purple all have one held one calculate over using the Kraken ability. Uh, and those Kel Rotos have uh, the modified for organics ship ability instead of the uh, network calculation sh ship ability. It reduces their difficulty of their speed two and three banks and increases the difficulty of your speed three turns. Mm -hmm. So uh, a little bit more maneuverable in a different way, like a yeah. standard maneuverability, not weird droid maneuverability, right? <laughs> You're right, exactly. Um, yeah, and then also could equip, um, they don't have the loadout for it, but mm -hmm. they could equip some missiles that require the focus requirement. 
which is such as the Procket. Procket, or uh, if they had the slots for it as well, uh, the Barrage Rockets. That's true. Need uh, more slots for rocks. Need need more slots. Send help. <laughs> uh, so, all right. What are we going to have here? We're going to have, um, oh, of course, they have to send the uh, Clan Ren commandos up because they move at the start of activation. You can move them a two straight or a one hard. Uh, and keep in mind, they do have arcs, mm -hmm. so, so they do. They do. Their positioning matters. Yeah. They're just. It's not just yeah. uh, willy nilly. Yeah. And when you drop them, you get to choose if you want the which side of the template you place them on. So you right. can drop them facing away from you or towards you. Uh, but for these U wings without the drop seat bays that we see on the uh, gauntlets, mm -hmm. they have to drop them out the rear. Yeah, just with the one-speed template as well. But the drop seat bay uh, on the gauntlets makes them much more configurable uh, on how you set those up. All right, so Shane staying with a uh, more of a formation here. At least it feels that way with those vultures. Is there any reason to keep them in formation? So DFS081 can use the calculates. Okay from the other droids. Uh, so that's interesting that he, they, he can use network calculations, but the, the uh, Kelrodos cannot. Um, but besides that, there's really no big reason to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe to not let them just get like uh, singled out and die. Because okay. you may want to keep them all coming in from the same direction, uh, especially if it, you can get the U-wings in a line versus a row, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. in a column versus a row a little bit to where they're not all targeting you at the same time, targeting one ship at the same time. See if you can maybe uh, range control it to where you have a better engagement. Uh, but for this round, round uh, or turn two here, uh, this is the start of the scoring for mm -hmm. assault at the satellite array. That's right. Uh, we see those five objectives out there. This is the king of the hill, king of the hill type scoring. So at the end of the round for each objective that you uh, have uh, control over, and you determine control by who has points. Uh, more uh, ships at range zero to one of them. Medium bases count as two ships. They do, and large bases as well. Uh, so these U wings have an innate advantage um, over these smaller base ships because the smaller base ships have to have two to even tie. Um, I saw one game. This is a TTS game. Uh, it's probably now about six months ago or so where the person, I think they forgot they were playing Assault. The, one of the players forgot they were playing Assault, and there was a 4U-wing player, and on turn three, they got all five. All five. Wow. It was ridiculous. That, uh, in, in our Wednesday stream games with me and Will, yeah, uh, that was one of our challenges, was to get five objective points in one round, <laughs> and no one was able to do it. That's how, that's how you, you, you do it. You got to force the body to play badly, and you get, you need big shifts. Yeah, <laughs> four U wings could do it uh, if it's if it's set up right. It was it was just a perfect set of circumstances. <laughs> it was perfect ridiculous. Story. It looks like these are a lot more spread out for this game. Yeah. Um, it looks like none of them are really at that like uh, range two minimum. It looks like they're a lot more spread out here for this game, uh, which is uh, does not bode well uh, for the uh, Rebels here. But we do see a bunch of locks start to come down. That's um, those probe droid. That probe droid doing some work. Pro probe droid out here probing. <laughs> <laughs> wee -wee -wee. Watch your probes. <laughs> All right, it looks like uh, the uh, the black Kelrodo holdout was able to grab a lock on to uh, Benthic two tubes. Um, it's interesting, though, because uh, obviously you don't know your opponent's maneuvers beforehand, but taking that lock does set you up for potential in the future. But with two tubes, maybe he thought it was going to end up dipping down towards the bottom of the board, but it's ticked that three bank towards the top. He absolutely could have. Um, I'm interested. I don't think we saw 
Leia this turn. Leia is still not spent going into round two. So with with the the lower sh the lower round count, we kind of mentioned it earlier in one of our previous rounds. With the lower round count nowadays, mm -hmm. um, it is uh, maybe more beneficial for uh, players to uh, that are using Leia to spend one early and then spend one later. Uh, otherwise, they may not get uh, two expenditures of it. But it looks like they're trying to spread the love around here. Uh, looks like DFS081 just grabbed a lock on to Saw Guerrera. And we haven't mentioned a, a ton about the interactions between these uh, U-wings, but they... No, we, got a, we got a lot of synergy. <laughs> a lot of synergy. Uh, Benthic able to take two uh, focus actions, and he could use Jin Urso to change one of those or both of them to a an evade. Uh, is Jin, Jin Urso is that limited to only Benthic? No, it is a range three. Range three, folks. Yeah, huge, absolutely huge. So, uh, generally, the Jin Urso is as usually a pretty great target to start. Um, be, get rid of those evades because focus evaded u-wings are silly yeah <laughs> they're they're like they're like x-wings with an extra hull and an extra shield and um can rotate <laughs> can just like stop drop and roll here it's planning phase yeah agreed <laughs> Agreed. Uh, but yeah, Benthic able to pass and could even pass one of those focus or evades off to one of his friends. Like, oh, would you like one of these? Would you like a piece of candy? A uh, piece of candy? <laughs> What's a piece of candy? Uh, because it could be important because a lot of the, these other U Wings don't have that uh, perceptive co pilot. Uh, Cassian is able to pull off a stress um, from one of uh, his friends. Uh, which is pretty cool with the ability to combo that with K2SO uh, because they are such buddies, uh, K2 and Cassian. They work in the same timing window. So you could K2SO somebody to give them a calculating the stress and immediately Cassian off the stress. Mm -hmm. Very neat. Uh, and Cassian, of course, is the Leia carrier. Magviaro lets uh, or prevents enemy ships from re-rolling more than one die uh, offensively. <laughs> offensively. Yeah, so it's them. it's like target locks feel terrible. Fire control, amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, C correct. <laughs> Predator, works. <laughs> yeah, so it turn, basically turns your fire, fire turns your uh, uh, locks into fire control systems yep. that you have to spin. <laughs> yep. So uh, not, not, not great sometimes. Um, but really great for Rebels being able to prevent some of that damage coming in. Uh, and also has uh, those clone uh, or clan ran commandos. Now we see Dirge going into the teeth of these U-Wings saying, I, I want to hang out with these four whales over here. So this is Separatist Dirge. Uh, that Correct. Is, that is going to be the uh, the dirge that um, can the resurrect. Yeah, dirge. die it, when, when you're destroyed. You spend your charge to reveal all your face down damage cards. Discard each direct hit and each of your pilot damage cards. Then repair all of your face up damage cards. Uh, so let's say you took exactly five damage of whole damage. So mm -hmm. you have exactly five damage cards. You flip up your cards, you reveal them all, and uh, you have like a direct hit in there and like two pilots. Mm -hmm. You could throw away both, all three of those cards, and now you're only left with two. You're, you repair them, put them that face down, and you now have three whole. <laughs> <laughs> your charge is spent. Nice. Your charge is spent, so it's only once per game. Uh, but still a uh, really cool ability to kind of kind of like tell Travera a little bit mm -hmm. to just like not do that. <laughs> Come back with a little bit of hole. Yeah, it's like, look, I'm back. All right. Looks like we have a, a dirge of heavy or a proton uh, cannon here for 
Uh, pew, pew, pew. Hit, crit, crit. Oh, Ooh, blank out. Is it from Arizona? And they said you could. All right, looks like that's gonna be three shields off of Magva. Yeah, they'll go, they'll go, they'll go in the sets of stuff. All right, that's super cool. Big hit there from Dirge. Uh, now all you need to do is uh, survive, Dirge. Now, is uh, there is there a way? So you throw away the direct hits and. The pilot crits? Direct hits and any pilots. So so if you don't have direct hits, if all your cards are ship cards and that are not direct hits, and, you you just, and nothing dead. happened, you just die. You just die. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> like, is that possible? Or you have loose, oh. sta loose stabilizer, oh, yeah. damage sensor array. Um, and there's multiples of those. Multiples of those. And how many health? Two of each. Two of each. I'm trying to figure out. What would it have to be? No, blind pilot is a pilot. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, what, here what? comes three hits into looks to be dirge from uh, Saw That's Guerrera, and dirge has a strain, so should have at least one agility here. Single hit. Gonna spin the lock. This is from Magva Yaro. Got two. Two of eight. Oh my goodness. Just 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 be like, nah, I'm good. Can I can I not take damage? That'd be cool. <laughs> Alright, looks like no shot from Ben Thick Two Tubes. Who has the hot shot tail blast? It's Magva. Magva has the hot shot tail blaster. Is that just the is is the is the hot shot tail blaster just a like these are, we had extra points so we we put this uh, on there type of thing? Is this that's the upgrade that says I would like to have notorious. <laughs> ah, <laughs> notorious, please and thank you. Okay, look, are are we gonna be able to reach out and grab it, Benthic? So it looks like one, two, three. For uh, the separatists here, and only uh, only two for the rebels. Going into that's end of round two, first scoring round, uh, already a a mess. <laughs> oh yeah, these U, U, U wings really showing off uh, their ability to uh, focus on like one good target there. Oh, might have missed an attack here. Here's another one. Just a single hit coming in from the U-Wings. Uh, and that damage is going to end up going through. That looks like that came uh, it was oh, the, into the, the probe droid. Get out of here, probe droid. I could it's not because uh, Benthic uh, did, couldn't shoot Dirge, so definitely took a shot somewhere at that, uh, at that uh, DRK-1 probe droid. Sounds good. So 48 minutes of change left here. Score of three to two. Third round. I want to thank everybody who hung out this weekend or this day. Uh, who here has, uh, who here watched all five rounds? We have any five rounders? How about four, three, two, one. How many? How many rounds have you been with us? Uh, Stinson forty-two saying, "I'm surprised to see. I've seen seven-point infiltrators uh, that we have not seen two seven-point infiltrators today." Yep. I did not realize <laughs> that he had selflessed all three of those shots, or uh, each of those shots. 
So um, oh, because we, because we can't hear the table. That's the uh, yeah. So Cassian and Saw both selfless. <laughs> um, or not Cassian? Because uh, I don't think Cassian. I think we're missing a selfless out there. Like there's a card that's not yeah. on the the list. Yeah, let me check the the Yasbies again here because he did say he had two selflesses. But I think that was the one that I had to run through Launch Bay. Uh huh. Uh huh. It is all right. Give it, child. So they said that we okay, saw has selfless as well. I saw and Cassian do have selfless. Got it. So did did the XWS from here not work? Did you oh, see, yeah, do did that? You, I didn't see he did that. Did he just do he that? He just did this today. Oh, my gosh. Isn't Brian... Brian, Brian you Brian, need to stop this. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he... You think you're so cool with your immediate great functionality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he added that today. Um, yeah, I saw I saw the text uh, last round because he, he, he first replied, uh, I should be able to do this tomorrow. <laughs> and then he replied, actually, I'm done. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it looks like Cassian also has selfless as well. So, uh, as a note. All right. I will also be back. I need to go to little boy's room. Little boy's room. Here we come. Woo. <laughs> All right. Uh, going into round three here, guys. Uh, how are the bets looking? Um, let's see. Looks like uh, we have 23 bets for the Rebels and 13 for the Separatists. You guys don't believe in the Separatists? The Alliance. It's real. All right. Looks like we're going to see another drop of the <laughs> Clan Rin Commandos here uh, from Magva. So out of charge. Only has two charges there. Un uh, unrecoverable as a note. Uh, and that is it for systems. I don't think we have any other systems here uh, for the Separatists. Uh, but we also have the K2SO. Why, why can you not use selfless against a proton cannon? Oh, you are absolutely correct. You have to be in the attack arc, don't you? Man, get out of here. Why do you know everything? All right, I will go correct it. Yeah, so while another friendly ship as your one defends before the neutralizer double step, if you are in the attack arc, you may suffer one crit and cancel a crit. So yeah, I will be right back. Thanks, guys.
All right. Uh, so yeah, so selfless does require the ship to be in the attack arc, um, which is classic instance of X-wing players reading only the good bit about an upgrade card. Um, I mean, we do it all the time. I do it, you do it. Uh, <laughs> several times I'll say, uh, hey, um, I, uh, I, this looks like an amazing upgrade card, and then you don't even read like the other half of the paragraph. All righty. Looks like we may have uh, a lot go down from orange onto uh, Benthic, and that I think orange is one of the Kelrodos. All right, these Kelrodos are coming around the hill here. Looks like we're deciding if uh, what action we want here for the Kelrodo. Looks like a barrel left. Plenty of room there. All right. Uh, the last Kelrodo hold out here. Uh, looks to be a one hard. Excited to get to see these energy shell charges get into the fight uh, after setting up those locks earlier. I think all of the uh, vultures have a lock except for purple, I think, at this point. Let's see. I, th I believe that is the case. That'd be funny if this uh, <laughs> this benthic uh, went over the gas cloud just to get rid of <laughs> just to get rid over of the uh, all the locks on it. Looks like that may actually be the case here. Uh, oh, maybe he avoided it. Okay, takes a focus and a, hmm, pass and evade maybe? Pass a focus over to Magva, okay. Uh-oh, looks like green, oh. Looks like that may be a bump there after the barrel earlier. Uh, we'll have to see if that's going to be a damage for 081. All right, actually, it looks like they may be counting it as close enough there to not be a bump. He's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like a bear will calculate here for uh, green. Throws the, count, the stress down for some reason. Oh, it is bear will calculate. Okay. Okay. 
All right, see a stop rotate uh, from, looks like Leah did get popped this round. Uh, got a stop rotate from Cassian. We got a stop rotate from Benthic. Sorry, from Magma, I'm sorry. And we most likely will see one from uh, the Saw Guerrera as well. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, Magva loaded up. Actually, I do need to fix the damage now that you guys remind me. Uh, see Magma loaded up with a, a calculate, a focus, and evade. <laughs> I think I think it's only missing one green token there. <laughs> uh, looks like Saw takes a lock onto the uh, oh, lock jam. Wow with that false transponder codes out there. Uh, but with the hat, uh, with the child force, uh, that lock is a double modded shot. But we'll see if, um, if the uh, dirge is able to squeeze out. I don't think so. I think you may get blocked here. My goodness, gets out, uh, or pa at least passes over the Magva and the Benthic, and we're probably just going to see a boost here, right? You have to boost. You got to boost. Get out of there. Oh, you know what? He's still stressed. Oh, oh, no. That was almost an amazing move. <laughs> I'll give him another 30 seconds or so before I send in the rescue team. He wasn't stressed before, right? <laughs> Dirge, Dirge is not fine. Uh... He's taking a big shot from, yeah, Durs was stressed for sure. And I think the five straight is, uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, it's white, right? Yeah, it's white. Uh, looks like Maul here. Ooh, yes, spin to force there for the shot into Benthic. Uh, spin to focus to avoid the damage. Okay. Ooh, you spin Maul to do another attack. Oh, yeah. He just dumps it. Just dumps it. <laughs> let's do, let's try that again. I didn't like the outcome of that. Let's try that again. Uh, oh, okay. That's even better because there's no crits in there to be shared. And that's going to be two damage into... Uh, looks to be Benthic. Okay. Uh, and no force back. He is completely force gone. All right, it looks like Saw is up next with a four die shot here. Glad you took that lot. All right. And, oh, it's a full string here. Hit, hit, crit, crit. Uh, only one evade. Dirge is going to take some damage because I believe he was already shields down from the previous shot. Oh, it's a whole breach into a weapons failure. I think he's on one health left. I'll have to confirm that in just a moment, uh, but we'll have to see what Cassian has to say about that. 
I don't. I'm not sure that uh, Dirge is going to uh, make it out of this turn without having to uh, hold on to hope. We know for sure two of those cards, the whole breach and weapons failure, are not going to be removed. Uh, and we see two hits coming in here from uh, two blanks. So he's going to take two more. So four plus two is down to he's, he's six. Oh, and they're all face up. It's okay. It looks like a. All right, let's see it. So this, this, this is this dirge. Yeah, this is dirge. There's a pilot. There's a pilot. There's a pilot. Oh. A down to two. <laughs> Only down to two cards. Oh my goodness. So that means he's at four hole. He's at three hole left. Nice. So what? What's uh? Give me the catch up while I was gone. Uh, dirge did a amazing move here. Uh, did a five straight over all of the U wings. Unfortunately, the U wings predicted this. Oh, they did a little little <laughs> the spin around? Uh, well, like, they just didn't spin for two of them. Well, Cassian spin, spun, and uh, saw a face the same way and did hit, hit, crit, crit into him. Uh, and then Cassian finished it up, but actually gave him, like, two health. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus! <laughs> Bonus health. Uh, and then Maul did the Maul thing. Uh, we're pushed through three damage uh, and blocked it all, spent focus to block it all, and then spent his two force to do it again and dealt two damage. <laughs> or three damage, actually. I believe. Wow. Let me check real quick. Benthic, two damage on Benthic, yeah. Uh, ooh. Now, does he have any more follow-up shots now that Dirge did his thing? You know, we're checking right now for the... Uh, the yeah. Commandos. Judge, yeah. Judge, the call. Judge! All right, they got it. We're going to check the arc for that commando there because that is super close. I hate checking arc on commando. No, yeah, you're going to have to, we have to move all the, uh, all the things <laughs> out of the way. It, we, they were actually having a discussion in the chat yeah. uh, about how commandos just slow down the game a lot. Yeah. Um, but... I mean, it's like adding two ships on the table. It adds two ships on the table. I I understand. I, I understand <laughs> their their fluff purpose. I think from a a play standpoint, I don't think you should be able to put them underneath the ship. I think some something along the lines of if the maneuver would overlap, they don't they like don't move. Just n not even a partial maneuver. They just don't go anywhere. That would speed it up so much. And if you can't launch it, then they did get destroyed or something like that. Yeah. Ooh. If they don't fit, like it, if it, if it, if it don't sits, it bits. It's it's gone. <laughs> it, it's gone. It bits. Uh, okay, we're having to mark up all of the ships over here uh, to get this arc check on the. Uh, I don't think it's in. Personally, looking at it from this angle. Which is a really bad angle. <laughs> <laughs> for, for this specifically, for sure. Uh, yeah, because it's like the far edge of the board. Facing the opposite facing way. Facing the opposite way. Uh, at an angle that I can't even see the base because there's a U-wing in the way. Uh, I say no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we call in our fabulous judges. Uh, I think this is Jeremy doing this arc check here. Yep. Get that judge ruler. I love those judge rulers. Though. It's so nice. And even though they're not sponsoring today, uh, you can get your own curlpawcreatives.com. Yeah, I have looked at it several times because I, I run events sometimes. Mm -hmm. and uh, Yeah. Or just to have one out, like if a judge doesn't have one, like here, here is a judge ruler. <laughs> just like, the, like, oh, are you struggling? Here you go. <laughs> I got you, baby. Maybe if you call this one correctly, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bribe. It's I promise. Bribe. It's not a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I forget what, what movie. Uh, I was watching with my daughter, and in it, <laughs> in it, there's uh, this government employee offers uh, these people money, <laughs> and the the government employee goes, "It's a bribe." <laughs> it's like they're henchmen. <laughs> It's like, like, to be clear, it's a bribe. <laughs> I don't want this to be confused. Yeah. 
Uh, but this is it, a bribe. This is a bribe. <laughs> okay. I think it's, uh, it uh, sounds uh, like that's a no. We'll have to see. He's picking him up. Oh, it is in. Do it. Oh, pop, pop. Oh, oh, no. All that work for back Dirge. To, back to one. <laughs> back to one health. <laughs> but no crits now. They did have, he did have some crits earlier. Now, he, here is here is the uh, the 4D chess play, Mr. James, is that one resource that did get spent with all these Dirge shenanigans is time. So if you end up ahead yeah. by one point at time, that's good stuff. Okay. And I think that is all the shots that we have this round. Uh, with that being said, uh, we'll have to count up some objectives. Uh, I think for sure the Ewings have the, uh, th the, the, the three or the two up there, maybe three. I think Maul may have tied that one right there in the middle, Ooh. maybe. Tasty. Doesn't, uh, not quite no. thick enough for that one. Okay. We'll so it might be to two see. to one. Uh, looks like he's pulling over uh, three points. It looks like Maul was out of both of those. No, so four to five. So that round, it was... Uh, three to one. Very nice. Really flipped it there, because previously um, the Separatists were able to get a three to one, I think. Maybe a three to two. I'm sorry. I want to go ahead and take a look. I, s I noticed that we have one of our top table games done over there. Who, who did? So it looks like oh, uh, Jeremy Chambly, who we did have on stream earlier. That was the Thai Brute. The Thai Brute, yeah. Day. Ends up beating Ryan Farmer uh, to get into the cut. So that leaves Ryan at, uh, at three and two. No. Yeah, so he got a, that means he had a pair up. He got paired up. He got paired up. Oh, man. Ryan, that's so unfortunate. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, but we do have the opportunity for a last chance invite qualifier mm -hmm. on Sunday. Uh, Ryan, we had him on stream earlier, and he played great. Well, I mean, he's, there's still a chance for him to make the cut, though. Remember, this is not a graduated, right? This top eight. I thought we said we'd have two and two and four. I thought so too, but looking looking at six, the I'm at sorry. the at the beginning of the game at the like we didn't start with four with three four and O's, mm -hmm. right? Which means that there is one four, one three and two that's going to make it. Yeah, looking at the math though, Ryan is definitely way above any of the other three in uh, uh, SOS. Yeah. Well, no, uh, SOS and uh, mission points. Like, his mission points are way up there. But I think you're right. I think first tiebreaker is SOS. But if his if his opponent that he just lost to is the top player, mm -hmm. at least top two, yeah, that may, that may be enough to get him in to the cut for Sunday. We'll have to see. I'm, we'll, 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 let you, we'll let you know. Wow, Ryan takes a spot and then doesn't play. <laughs> uh, so th uh, in the chat, if you're not reading it, uh, saying, I know that he wants to play My World Crisis Protocol, but I think he's playing uh, Crisis Protocol tomorrow, not on Sunday. Uh, but th if the problem comes, if he makes the cut in, like, both. Did you want to bring him up here or no? No, it's all right. Let, let him do his thing. Well, either way, great job flown by Ryan. Um, took a pretty interesting, fun list with two X, two A, and Ezra. That's right. In the Tie Fighter. So yeah, I, I don't. I think one, three, and two does end up making it. All right, looks like we're doing the uh, planning phase going into round four, uh, about 20 minutes remaining. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Uh, looks like our bets earlier we were talking about is 23 to 13 in favor of uh, Andrew and this for you list. And winning right now, five to four. People talk about the LCQ. By the way, if you were on the wait list for the last chance qualifier for the World Championships. Check your email. Check your email yeah. <laughs> because they let in a ton of people. My understanding is that, oh, that the entire wait list got cleared. I told you guys, you got to have faith. Sign up, get on that wait list. Yeah. Let them look at the numbers and work it out. Yeah. Let them do the math for you. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll, uh, they'll see that uh, maybe we are interested in mm -hmm. <laughs> some X-Wing yeah. at Adepticon. Get some more tables. Get some more players. Get everybody in there for some last chance fun. Are we just doing a one-day last chance? Uh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if they were doing a two-day last chance. Just one day. There's one day of last chance. Oof, mm -hmm. That is your last chance. So it's last chance. But there's a there's a ton of side events happening. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to play like Battle of Yavin or yeah. Siege of Coruscant, this is this is your that's your place to do it. Yeah. Um, it Maybe your last chance for the worlds, but it is not your last chance for fun that week. Oh no no no! We're gonna we're gonna ton tons of stuff. Uh, I got to work on planning the uh, the GSP get together. Everybody of course is invited. And uh, not even just like X-Wing fun. There's a ton of fun of the Depticon to be had. Uh, All everywhere. kinds of games, different booths, demos. De you know, demos. We'll have a Shatterpoint demo. Uh, yep. AMG's new uh, X-Wing, sorry, Star Wars game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars game coming out. Oh, Lambola says he's still on the wait list. Uh, so, I guess maybe it was a wait list from a certain date. Oh, okay. There may have been. I'm trying to remember what I was told. I mean, never mind. I wasn't told anything. Who told you? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I know nothing. Uh, all right. The. What are they? The commandos moving up here. Looks like we're going to see a one hard uh, from the back commando that shot Dirge earlier mm -hmm. uh, and is going to give him a strain. <laughs> Take this. I got a present for you. Yeah. So many markings. You know, somebody was saying earlier that we were only going to get four rounds. That might be, exa <laughs> uh, might be exactly what we end up at. Yeah, I mean, four, four U-wings with the rotates, the stops, the, um, the weird maneuvers. Uh, plus the uh, odd maneuvers from the, or the extra maneuvers from the clone or the clan Rin commandos. Uh, maybe, maybe more right than you realize. Is the round counter off? Oh no, this is this is the fourth round, friends. I believe so, because it was he scored in round. Oh, you know what? We may be going into five. I mean, they're keeping track of it. Yeah, round two, he scored one. Round three, he scored three. Yeah. Or he's two, then three. Yeah. Yeah, we're on round four. And that just, you know, that happens in some games. Some games have a slower pace, depending on the players. Um, yeah, and, I, I know, and, and I know. also just the mechanics that are being used, right? Yeah, and I know Shane was uh, uh, new to... Um, this for you list said uh, mm -hmm. he'd not been he'd not played uh, it uh, too much. He, he'd not really seen a lot of the shenanigans it can do. And if you're unaware of what <laughs> another list you can do, you're you about should, to learn you should, today. You should, you should probably read through it once or twice <laughs> because that is the worst way to find out. <laughs> yeah, when somebody's like, actually. I have this trigger. Ah, you just activated my trap card. It's like, I didn't even know he had trap cards. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, like, I, I feel so bad for a lot of players that had to play Zam Wessel, like, without prior information, play against Zam. 
Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah. I attack you. You're like, okay, I attack you back. Face down card. Like, we're not playing <laughs> card game over here. <laughs> oh, I got free locks, and I get to shoot you back. What? <laughs> <laughs> this card says I win. <laughs> like, ju ju judge? <laughs> All right. Looks like we have the uh, Kelrodos moving up into attack position. Now we might actually get uh, get these separatist ships to, uh, to fire some dice. Well, I mean, Dirge has been distracting all these you <laughs> for so long. Look at me! Yeah. I am Dirge. Yeah, that's exactly what Dirge would do, though. Uh-huh. Uh, may see if a roll focus here from this black holdout at the back here. That would be super cool. It looks like it. Very cool. Look at that. We did the thing. There it is. <laughs> we did the thing, guys. We have a focus on a vulture. Like, whew. We can all go home now. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have uh, Benthic moving up. Rolls the eyeball. Gets rid of the <laughs> gets rid of the probe droid for all it's worth here. I'm just I keep taking peeks in on the. Uh what? I thought I saw it there for a second. Alrighty. And... Looks like we have... Scooting up. Ooh, this one may be a... Bump. Nope, no bump, I guess. All right. DFS 082. That's the that's the roll road. That's the roll focus one. All right, clear distress there. Take a calculate. Or do you take the lock onto Benthic? Uh, Genados, if you want to see where the ladder is, type exclamation point list. That'll take you to the Roll Better event page where you can peruse to your heart's content. We're not saying to CDOS the, uh, the, uh, the site, but we're, we're, we are stress testing it. We're trying to make sure that it can function the way that we wanted TTT to do where it was just open and anybody can look at it at any time. All right, looks like we see, uh, looks like Magva mm -hmm. open up uh, those wings, move up, and probably take a focus here. And that double focus, super good. Ready to lock down that's any rerolls. Calc focus. What? From uh, K2SO. K2SO. Yeah, we don't we don't really think about it because Cassian immediately pulls the stress off. <laughs> That's true. I'm like, what do you mean? There's no stress out there. There's no stress. Where'd the stress go? Well, don't even think about it. Like, how cool would that be to give a give a ship a force every turn with like no consequences? That's basically what Cassian and K2 that partnership. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. Warbot Zero, thank you so much for your sub. Nine months streak, streak and 29 total. Thank you to everybody who has taken the time to sub today. Truly appreciate it. Thank you for your support and helping us cover costs for our travel here to Las Vegas and other events as well. Actually, I got to get back to Matt Carey because um, we were invited to go uh, back to St. Louis. Um, St. Louis? St. Louis because a uh, miniature market wants to put on uh, a, a big event and be like, hey, come on, come on down, Girl Squadron. Let's do a thing. Miniature market wants to put on a big event yeah. or a miniature event. Uh, uh, see what he did there. <laughs> 
one of the biggest miniatures selling sellers, at least that I'm aware of in the U.S. It's actually they have like a like a legit store, like a just like a normal store. Wow, I'm standing right here, Will. It's fine. <laughs> we did do a great job today, <laughs> James. <laughs> a miniature market. <laughs> uh, Jimmy? <laughs> and the official online Esmodi reseller, correct. Really? I did not know that. That was pretty cool. And they, they, I know they have multiple. They have uh, two locations, I believe. We went to one. It was raining like crazy that day. Like in sheets. So looking forward to make, making our way back out there. Oh man, looks like we have uh, Saw with a rotate as well. Genados is taking, taking requests for the beer trunk at Adepticon. Um, so I'm not a big beer drinker. I like cider. Do you like cider? I like ciders. Uh, so if you want to hide some of those for me in the, bo the, bo the bottom. Where, where, where do you get your cider? Because I can't find any good ones here. Uh, I don't know. Whatever they got at the, the store by the house. Yeah. I'm also in the Utah area, which is a little bit restrictive on uh, any kind of alcohol. That was your choice, though. My choice. <laughs> Just call you out. You were supposed to come to Chicago. And we will be buddies in Chicago. Uh, I ain't mad, James. I haven't thought about it every night since you moved to Utah. Looks like we have a damage down on to... Looks like it was a uh, selfless on to uh, Cassian there. Cassian, just um, um, uh, the selfless guard out here being a menace. Oof, that's a good question. Finman <laughs> asking, what does SOS mean in the stats? It's strength of schedule. Basically, the better your opponents did, the, the, the people that you played during the event, the better that they did, the higher SOS score you will have, which means you have, that's the first tiebreaker. It's like, hey, if you went three and two, but you played the best people, and you have a higher score than somebody who went three and two, and they they played, they only were playing people who also you know lost a couple games. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, certain schedule is sometimes can be a little mean to people just because. If you play someone early in the round that like drops or doesn't do well in the event, it could actually hurt your um, hurt how you do in the event. So uh, it is kind of rough, um, but uh, it's you know better than trying to. It's it's the least gameable stat, which is uh, why a mm -hmm. lot of people end up using it. Uh, looks like we have uh, a shot going into. It looks to be have been into mall. Looks like it ended up taking another shield, two shields down there. And spend for three. Oh man! Just ro just roll them dice. Yeah. What are we running to run the tournament? It is uh, a brand new, not brand new, but newer software. The newest 
uh, iteration of tournament organization software. And it's called Roll Better. Uh, type exclamation point list. You'll get the link to the list page. Yeah, the you can site. go ahead and, and, and poke around. Go ahead and make yourself an account if, you, if you're a TO. And anybody, anybody can use it. It's free for now, at least. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, feel free to, to uh, lock, create an account and set up a tournament. Um, okay, looks like this is going to energy shell, and looks like it may have missed here, really, because uh, I don't think we have a lock up there. It's just going to be one hit. Mm -hmm. Could munitions fail safe it? Looks like they most likely will. Uh, the DFS save in that munition for later. Uh, not, not sure how many more rounds we're going to get, but could come into uh, import later. Uh, looks like Benthic as a range two into. Okay, looks like a miss there, really. All right, six minutes. All right, look at this. Like we're getting an obstruction check for this uh, uh, Clan Ren Commando to yep. make sure that's not obstructed. It's a little confusing there. Can a remote shoot on an obstacle? Can the can the clan can Clan Ren shoot? While they're on an obstacle. How dare you ask me that question? Uh, that's that's the question. <laughs> I, I don't know. I believe, I believe so. Um, I believe ships are only only one specifically called out there. But let me go check, and then uh, I'll get a damage update as well. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, did anybody in the chat know the answer to that question? So can those clan ran commandos fire? Uh, Chase, that's exactly what I'm think. I'm thinking is too is like it can shoot because it's it only says ships. James checking out the checking out the damage. J James, James is a great co-host. A plus. If you ever see James in person, give him a high five. He deserves it. They can't shoot if enemy overlaps. That 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 ruling I did know. And one hit, one evade. Didn't end up mattering. So smooth skeleton, my my. Uh, so just just a quick note uh, that I do want to put out there. Go ahead. What's what's uh, any updates? Uh, yeah. So we, yeah, yes, you can shoot while on an obstacle. That's what I figured because the ruling specifically says ships. Ships. Uh, and then also we checked to make sure that it was not obstructed. Mm -hmm. um, but with with the pace of play, yes, it's slow. Both players are playing slow though. I will say, and also pace of play. I would say today is not has not been the priority of the the judges. This is a, a newer judging staff, uh, and right now they're just trying to get get things moving and rolling. Both players are are fine. They, I, I mean, I'll, I'll be. They, they were slow to set up. They've been slow since the beginning. It's been consistent. It hasn't been sudden. It's been a smooth set of play. It is what it is. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let them ride. Oh, boy, it looks like from the Black Colorado uh, has a, a big hit, but only deals one damage after uh, rolling uh, a focus and uh, using the evade token. All right, looks like we have orange Kelrodo to shoot here. Um, and it's going to be difficult to, to burn down one of these. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a tight game because both players are going to end up, I think, with the rebels will end up getting two objective three. tokens. Three. Oh, three because you got two U wings on the center. 
So the Separatists need to take out a ship. Okay, looks like it takes one. Emperor Canary, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very forward, my friend. Uh, uh, I promise you that you don't know. <laughs> I promise you that you don't know. I promise you that both players have been taking their time. Oh boy, we see a big hit coming in. Hit hit crit. Uh, Two evades. Just no, no one can really push through that damage. The only damage that we did get was on to the, uh, <laughs> on to dirt and dirt us up and away. Uh, looks like we're checking for selfless here. Um, it's going to be a no. It's the disabled power, power regulator. regulator. Yep. On to looks to be um, Magva. Magva took good. damage. No, I think it was on Benthic, actually. Uh, some selfless action? They tried to. Oh, because the crit, yep. Yeah. Tried to, but I think it was out of range. All right, I think after counting up points, we have five to eight. And looks to be one more round here going into five. Because they did, they did complete that round, right? Yep, they did complete it. Here, here's a question, pace of play. Do I tell them that the round is over when the round timer goes off, or do I wait for them to start the next round and tell them that it's the last they'll, round? They'll get one more round, and then... As I, I, what, what, what I'm saying is the psychology behind oh, telling them, yeah. right? I mean, probably should just tell them that the time is when the time... All right, so we'll get one more round in here as they finish up the planning phase. So if we go over to the tournament website, do we have our full one, two, Other three, five four, four, five, David six, Don seven. David Doncheck we also had on stream earlier with that FO list with uh, Kylo, Whisper, and Malaris and some ties. Two point one. So these players will finish it out. So let's go ahead and uh, while while they finish it out, let's talk about some of the lists that we saw, some of the things that uh, that you liked that you saw on the table, on the stream table. Yeah. Uh, man, I liked uh, I liked Ryan's list. Yeah. It was a fun list. The two X and two uh, A and uh, Ezra in the Tie Fighter was a lot of fun. Uh, did not have both of the. Um, the normal uh, starting loadout for mm -hmm. um, the Rebel Faction, which is Garvin Boy and Jack Boy, um, which was really fun. It was good to see that, like, there's still a lot of options in yeah. Rebels without both of them. Uh, and to see the fun interactions with Jack and him trying to blow himself up on other people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do it! Come here! I'll Let me hug it. you! I'll freaking do it! <laughs> um... What else did we see today? We also saw that, that FO list was pretty pretty fun. Uh, this is the last game today, a wise engineer. 
Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, mm -hmm. joining us in the chat here. Um, what about you? What was one of yours that you liked? So um, I like that we just got to see Ubel on the on the table, Ubel. right? Jeremy Chamley, who ends up being uh, was yeah. it, is it a top top in Swiss? Uh, Nope, looks no, like no second. So like he got David, overtaken. David Doncic. Uh, we'll we'll wait to see. It's the third. It's the third. Look, they went all the way. Oh no, the SOS. It's po SOS. Point one six eight. We have we haven't had all of the games finished today, so SOS is still up in the air. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so, but the two five nos that we had today were uh, David Doncic and Jeremy Chambly. Congrats to both those players. Um, for sure in the cut. And it looks like we actually had one, two, three, four, five, uh, <laughs> five, four, and ones, and one, three, and two. And it looks like uh, Stephen Butler was able to squeeze in uh, as the top three and two there. Uh, but yeah, Ryan's list was a lot of fun. Um, what else did we see today? Um, that scum list that didn't have, uh, didn't we see a scum that didn't have Kanan? Mm -hmm. We were thinking about looking at one that <laughs> didn't have Kanan. Yep. I will say, as uh, as we turn down for uh, for this final round and we're getting things wrapped up, uh, Brian did a great job today. Brian, Brian Sefran, yeah. the RTO, it's a good guy. Yeah, he's, he's good doing, people. Doing the end of day uh, close down here, uh, yeah. and man, we gave away a ton of stuff um, today for, for, prizes. for prizes. AMG yeah. unloaded a bunch yeah. of things. Everybody's like walking away with dice. punch board dice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you, if templates, you, if you know not templates, uh, range rulers. If you know someone who went to LVO and they come back to your local area and they don't give you something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, James said you have something for me. <laughs> uh, make, make, make sure make sure you bother those players that went, yeah. to, went to LVO because they got they walked away with yeah. with uh, honestly a ridiculous amount of swag. So yeah, uh, definitely check out and see if they have any any leftovers for you. That's right. <laughs> Dice, there's dice. Yeah, it's um, they're giving away the uh, the the dark gray regional dice. Yeah, the 2019 regional black uh, and black and green and black and red dice. Mm, yep. Uh, but I heard that there were a couple of other dice. In there. Oh yeah. There were some sparklies. Oh. Um, I was like, you got any more of them sparkly dice? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if things fall in the box, things fall in the box. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just found them. <laughs> but I know, like, I think what's happening is AMG is trying to, they're, they're clearing out all the old stuff, right? Yeah. So that they can, because this, this world, the, the, the world championship coming up here uh, in a couple months, which is crazy. All right. Yeah. Uh, really marks the beginning of the AMG regime for organized play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, organized play for AMG is really starting to kick off here with Adepticon, I think. I think we're going to see more and more as um, they uh, invest more time uh, and resources into uh, more organized play stuff. Yep. I think it's gonna it's gonna tell us a lot about the game. Uh, on a podcast episode a few few weeks ago, I got real fiery. Got real fiery. Essentially, my opinion is that the future success of the growth of this game and all of their games is going to hinge on how they handle future organized play. Because yeah. the, the 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 thing is, we they want to see growth, right? You want to see growth over time. Um, right now, you have a lot of stagnation. Right, the people who have been playing have have continued to play. Things kind of evened out. You have your you had your post COVID drops, but right now things are kind of staying steady. Yeah, there's a little bit of attrition in and out a yep. little bit with new players coming in every once in a while and uh, old players um, leaving for different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think uh, organized play is one way that you can reinvigorate and renew a lot of people's uh, interest. 
in the game. And uh, we could definitely see some more uh, new players even. All right, looks like we are seeing uh, a bump maneuver here uh, from the uh, DFS081, unfortunately, on the obstacle and takes a uh, strain, uh, but no damage, I believe, which is good for that uh, 081. All right, what do we have up next? Um, just to answer some questions in the chat, Chu Branca says, how many make cut? Top eight. Yeah, top eight for Top each eight today. Day. Yeah, right. yeah. Top eight for today, then top eight for tomorrow, and they will be combined into a top 16. Four rounds of action. And as you said, a wise engineer said, I just hopped back into X-Wing after being out since 1.0. Welcome home. We've been, we had dinner ready for you. <laughs> there you go. Here's some LVO. Here's some <laughs> LVO. Put the soup on. <laughs> yeah, it's still, still X-Wing. Mm -hmm. You still do the maneuver, then you shoot. <laughs> That's different, James. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Still making those decisions. It's uh, a bit of poker. It's a bit of chess. It's a bit of uh, craps. <laughs> uh, yeah. Plus, plus a dice game. Yeah, plus a dice game. <laughs> Finally came home with all those, all that milk you went out for. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it looks like we may be finishing up maneuvers here and heading into the activation phase. Looks like we have a bump here from Darth Maul. Not surprised. Nowhere for him to really go. Dirge. And we'll see if Dirge can make it out of this fight alive. Does a Talon roll? Lines up that Proton Cannon. I mean, if you're going to go out, you're going to go out hard. Looks to be range two. Let's see how many dice he picks up. There's the Proton Cannon coming in from Dirge on to Saw Guerrera. I think Saw looks to be still full, uh, but still. Chucking four dice is a pretty great time with a focus to crit from Proton Cannon. It's such a cool, such a cool weapon. How many four and ones will there be? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five. That's five. right. Bro, you don't know how to count, man. Back to kindergarten Back to with kindies. you. <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll have uh, some damage coming in here. Just two looks to be. On to Sagrera. Shields for days. All right, let's see. Looks like Darth Maul into probably Benthic. Yeah. Here uh, it is. Uh, no lock. So just two. Ooh, does Benthic spin the force or spin the focus? I would take the one. Ooh, he takes, spins it. Here we say two force go down for Maul. Mm-hmm. And do it again. <laughs> pop, pop. There it is. <laughs> Spin those force. Mm-hmm. Let's try again. Ah. Well, uh, deals one damage here to Benthic. Not going to be enough to take him down. Uh, from Maul alone. Looks like he has a couple of, he's a range zero shot and maybe a range one shot here uh, that could uh, pull him back into the game here. All right, 
I think we'll have Saw up next. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it's going after the Black Colorado uh, holdout. And here's the roll. Hit, crit, crit. Wow. There we go. Hot fire. Hit, crit, crit. Pop, pop. Going at that vulture. Not oh today. Oh, my gosh. Not Get today. Get out of here. That is in the chat. Greens have been hot for both players. That's right. Like, why, why take damage? I didn't come to LVO to take damage. I came here for dubs. Yeah, greens have been a little heated here. Mm -hmm. Hit crit. Focus blank. I think that's the first two damage shot we've had in a while. Uh, possibly so. I think, yeah, I think uh, if the Rebels win here, I think they are at uh, three and one currently, which would put them to four and one. So th I think they got uh, paired down, uh, paired down to that mm -hmm. uh, to, to their opponent here to to Shane. To Cassian. Ooh, Cassian could put the nail in the coffin here for Ooh, Crit Crit coming in. Looks like it probably be the end of poor Dirge here for the final time. Actually goes down this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Bye, Dirge. Four points on the board. So that's five to 12. Yeah, I think unless we see uh, two of these U-Wings go down, I don't think Separatist Bay will be able to come back here. So Lambolo, you know, I, I, you know, mentioning, you know, the, the U-Wings have a bunch of health and shenanigans. I think the approach with, you have to do two things. If I was playing against U-Wings in a tournament, um, you have to be aggressive. You, you got you to gotta be aggressive early when it comes to either deciding your strategy, are you going to be going for... Um, for objectives, or are you gonna you're trying to blow stuff up? Um, also, when it comes to obviously they they're they're four big ships. You got the commandos things, which makes them already even for the fastest moving player a slow list to move around. Um, you got to make sure that you you <laughs> uh, you spend your time waiting on them rather than the other way around, right? Like take make sure that as soon as you're ready to move on to the next phase, you get moving. Um, that's always been a tip that I've had for for people who are trying to say how do, how do I? It's more it's kind of like the gamesmanship mm -hmm. part of it, the psychology. Yeah. Um, you're already thinking about your next move. Have it yeah. have it already planned out. Yeah. Put you put pressure on the other player to go faster by being done. Um. It looks like uh, Shane here is trying to see is there any way we can pull this back here uh, and deal some uh, meaningful damage. Brian! Oh, he's doing some.
<laughs> right, right. Yeah. And then he denied. He's like, no, we're fighting for it. <laughs> Got it. All right, cool. That's why I wanted to double check. That does sound like Ryan. Force it till the end. (laughs) I'm going to give you an easy way out. (laughs) I can't can't play on Sunday, but I'm not going to give it to you. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. That would be collusion. It's funny. Brian has a, has a stack of like upgrade cards. He's just like looking at people and just throwing cards at them. Like, These are yours now. Like Gambit. <laughs> oh, Gambit. Yep. It's like it looks like you don't have enough swag over there. <laughs> Let me swag you up. And there's and the there's handshake. The handshake. All wow. right. So there's the game. Congratulations, uh, Andrew Pollard will get the W. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan. Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.